Metadata as a love note to the future. Yeah, isn't that sweet? What did our Archipus Jason Scott mean when he said this? To me, he meant that you should have compassion for your future self or whoever else is going to be looking at your data in the future and wondering if it fits their needs. And this is a talk that we're proposing uh, a tool to help you write these love notes. FAIR. You've probably all heard of this. Go FAIR, making your data as fair as possible, findable, interoperable, inter uh, accessible, and, and reusable. Metadata plays a big role in this. In fact, the best way to make your data more fair, write better metadata. So yeah, we've got a lot of tools out there for metadata and open source community to help you find your metadata. But they almost always just help you find your metadata. Very few of these actually help you create the metadata to put in these tools to find it. So they focus on that findability element. So what do you get when you focus on findability? Well, you can describe that kitten, where it lives, what its name is, maybe even its uh, vaccination history. But how do you know that kitten is not really a deadly hammerhead shark in disguise? Forgive me the, the obscure Douglas Adam reference there. You end up here like the dog that caught the car. You found your data, but is it usable? What is it really? I don't know if I can use it or not. Better recreate it instead. So to know if it really works for your own system, you need more information than what the findability support is that you get in, say, a Dublin Core or a Stack Trace. You need more than that. But creating it is a problem. Ah. Uh, oh, it is here. There, there's a video. I'm showing you. Anyway, this is a tool that we created in, the, in ANSLIC, uh, the metadata working group. And we took a different view on this. Our thought on it was that it's not about the complicated metadata. It's the tools to use it. Metadata is like a language. It has all these tags, right? Hundreds of tags in there and how and complete them all. No way. But English language is like that. We got hundreds of thousands of words, but we only used a couple thousand. So we wanted a tool that lets you use the ones that people knew, but you could pull in more if you, uh, if you needed to. So our proposal is to create an open source platform for metadata creation and also a SaaS service to help support it because people don't want to maintain this stuff themselves. So a little bit of uh, support is always welcome. So it uses the, the ANZ Met Light Editor and all the improvements that it had, like being able to keep a list of your own contacts, populate it with that, be able to, uh, you know, all the drop downs and simplified editors, just the elements you need, and for multiple standards, whatever you need, customized to your environment, has the names of your people in those drop down lists for populating those records. And it would be for creation only. We're not talking about a tool that would be uh, for publishing metadata but for something that you could take out and put into your coordinates platform or your CCAN platform or something like that. So, and also this would hopefully makes it easier for people to learn how lovely it is to create good metadata and download their own metadata catalog to do so. So what do we need from you? We need people who, knew, who need to create metadata, which should be every last one of you. Everyone should create at least one of that. And what do we need to make it real? We need more use cases. We need to know what, what you need. What, what, wh why don't you make metadata? You know, what's the problems? What are the, what are the barriers to doing so? And for the SaaS service, what would you be willing to pay for someone to oversee this to make sure it's all there and supporting all the latest standards to the latest, to the latest uh, guidance and everything else? So. Yeah, if you have any interest in this, we're really looking for people, please, 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 and uh, stop by our booth or contact me at that email. Thank you. Thank you.